Good morning, y'all. Uh, yesterday was a little bit of a dumpster fire as I make a post about the Democratic Party and how it is aligned with demons. And uh, it upsets a lot of people. Um, a lot of people get upset when I say you are not a true Christ follower. Um, and the reason why is because people love to stay in deception. I love it when I get told that I can't say that uh, when it's literally the job of a pastor, it's job in the fivefold ministry gift of prophetic voices to bring an alignment, a sharp cutting off a sword that comes and cuts off a false thinking or a sinful mindset. I've been saying this for, for years now. Um, Isaiah says this, a day is coming where men will call good evil and evil good. We are living in that day. But unfortunately, because so many Christians do not know God and they do not know God's word, they are deceived. Matthew 7 says this, many will say, Lord, we cast out devils in your name. We prophesy in your name. And Jesus' response on the day of judgment will be away from me, your doers of iniquity or you lawless ones. I never knew you. That word new is intimacy. There's people that go to church, you sing worship songs, but you do not know God and you do not know God's word. James 4 says, if we know what to do is right, but we continue to do wrong, it's sin. And you have a group of people that pretend that they're Christians, but they vote for policies that is not Christianity or biblical values. It's literally devil worship. It's Molech worship. Abortion is child sacrifice. It's Molech worship. It is the reason why the children of Israel were sent into exile. It's because they refused to deal with the sin of Molech worship, of false worship to a demon God. This was the greatest sin of the Israelites. This is what caused them to go into decades of exile. And this will be the fall of America. This will be the fall of American Christianity. And, and I, I know people jump in right here and they're like, well, Trump's this, Trump's that, and he's orange and he's mean and he does this. And, and, and I, I'm, not, I'm not a big Trump guy. I'm not a Republican. But when you sit back there's, and look, there's only one party that is standing up at their convention saying, we're going to overturn Roe v. Wade. Listen to me clearly. I know people don't like this because most people aren't pastored. Most people aren't confronted spiritually. And most pastors just care if people show up and give. And then if they just show up and give, then they don't care. And I can care less. I don't really care if you like me. I don't care if you go to our church. I care that you know God and you're right with God. And if you think aligning with a party that is flippantly murdering children and celebrating it, and you stand in right standing with God, friend, you are not on the Lord's side. It blows my mind how people that think they're following Jesus can be aligned with worldly celebrities, wicked world leaders, demonically led politicians that defy God, that defy God's word, that don't want the Bible in school, that don't want anything to do with God in society, but you think that you're a Christian? You think you're a follower of Jesus? Well, you think that you said one prayer, one place, one time, and your life doesn't reflect Jesus? You think that you're not bearing any fruit in your life? The other thing is, is people jump in, they're like, oh no, only the Democrats care about poor people. That's not true. It's not true. And if you look at these cities, they're being destroyed. All of their policies aren't working. The most devastated cities in America are what? Democratic cities, because what? Their policies don't work. It's mind boggling. But let's get down to the real truth of it. And this is what people don't say because everyone's afraid of being called racist. And so they don't say this stuff. But the truth is, is the answers I heard over and over was simply this, I'm black. And because I'm black, I'm with her. That's what I heard over and over in my comments, in my DMs. This is what I heard. I'm a black Christian. And so I'm with her. What'd you do? You just did the same thing that gay Christians do. You tried to put an identity before your Christianity. I'm a gay Christian. There's no such thing. There's no category. I'm a black Christian. I'm sorry. There's no such category. There's no such category as a white Christian. And you say, well, that's offensive and you can't say this. I pastor a very multicultural church, maybe one of the most diverse churches in DFW. And it's, they're there for one reason. It's not because I'm a white pastor or we have African-American worship leaders. It's not because we even try to be diverse. It's we built a church around the presence of God, like-minded people that love God's word and love his spirit. 
Jesus said it like this. He said, who's my mother? Who's my father? It's those that are doing the work of the ministry. In fact, he actually said, there's gonna be a day that families are gonna turn against family. For what? It's gonna be for the sake of righteousness. And you're like, well, Landon, you're not black. You don't know. And I would respond kindly, you don't know. You don't know my story. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I've lost for the sake of righteousness. You don't know my own family stuff that's gone on because I don't talk about it publicly. So you don't know what has cost me personally to stand for righteousness in my own family. So yes, there might be friends that you lose. There might be tensions in your family. And I would say, friend, it is so worth it for the sake of righteousness. The prophet said it like this, choose this day who you're gonna serve. I would remind you for everybody that doesn't think that you're a fake Christian is 1 John 3, 10, it says, everyone that knowingly keeps sinning is not a child of God, you're a child of the desert. Rewind that and read it again, say it again, go read it for yourself, 1 John 3, 10. Everyone that keeps sinning is not a child of God. You are a child of the devil. James 4 says, if you know what's right, if you know abortion is wrong, if you know it's murder, if you know it's Molech worship, and you can continue to vote for any politician that supports this, then what you're doing is you're aligning yourself with Molech worship. Revelations 3 said this, I would rather have you hot or cold, but if you're lukewarm, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. That is of so many Christians that think they're following Jesus, that they're a lukewarm spitting out or rejection of intimacy with God. I'd finally say this, I'd encourage everybody to go really study Romans 1 because the Democrat Party is aligning with Romans 1, the perversion, the immorality, the transgender, the, the, the false God worship, the rejection of God. Remember 2020, the Democrats took In God We Trust off their platform and now they're bringing a new god onto their platform i'm going to say it again if you are voting for these policies you are deceived you are not a true follower of jesus i didn't say you're not going to heaven i'm saying you are not a dedicated christ follower i'm saying you are a fake christian i'm saying you are not aligning with god's word it is so obvious and no other thing trumps the bloodshed of the innocent it's an abomination proverbs said god hates it John the Baptist was full of the Holy Spirit in his mother's womb. And the same Greek word used for John the Baptist in the womb was the same Greek word that they used for Jesus when he was a baby outside the womb because God put the same value on the children in the womb as outside the womb. It's time for Christians to wake up. I'm sorry you don't like this. I'm sorry you don't think I'm a nice enough pastor. I'm sorry that you're used to water down weak pastors that tickle people's ears and tell them what they want to hear and just hope they come to their church. But that's not the pastor I am. I never wanted to be a pastor. This is not my dream job. This is my obedience job. And if I'm going to do this job, I'm going to do it right. And my job is to call people to repentance. It's to call people, not, not with the spirit of condemnation, but a conviction to stand right and be what's right with God. Be people that know God and know God's word. Believe it or not, I love you all.